For question three, we're going to take uh, these returns, these percentage changes in the prices calculated in question two, and compute the mean, median, and standard deviation of these numbers uh, for three cases, for the entire year, so all of the days in 2016, and then for the first half, and then for the second half of the year. Okay, so let's first of all calculate um, the mean uh, for the full year. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to use a formula and the formula starts with, a, with an equals, as always. And in Excel, the command for a mean is average, like that. Okay, and then we go equals, or brackets rather. Uh, and now we need to select the range of cells that we want to take the mean of. So we want to take the mean of all of these. So we'll start there. Um, and then we want to select all the way down to the bottom of the year. So the quick way to do that is using the keyboard is to hold down the shift key and the on the Mac the command or in Windows the control key hold down both of those and then hit the down arrow and what that does is it selects the full column down to the end until, until it runs out of numbers so you can see this is now selected down to the 30th of December 2016 the whole lot is included to C3 down to C253 that's a quick way to select uh, a full column of numbers like that. We close the brackets, we hit enter, and go back up to the mean, and it's 0 0.06, just in another decimal place, let's say, the mean is 0 0.063. Okay, so that's the mean, which is called average in Excel. It would be better if it were called mean, but anyway. Now, let's do the median, which is basically the same thing. In fact, what I'm going to do is just to... Um, uh, take this formula that we entered for the mean and to convert it into the median I'm, uh, I've selected it and I've copied it so I've gone control C or command C to copy it uh, and then shift down one cell to here and command or control V to paste it um, now that's not the correct formula and we've in fact got a warning from Excel that the formula in this cell refers to cells that are currently empty and this is important to keep track of right if you do this kind of cutting and pasting um, it's a nice quick way to transfer formulae but just notice when we transferred the formula that was here referring to cell C3 to C253 when we shifted it down one place it shifted the references down it used to be 3 to 253 now it's 4 to 254 so what we could have done, two ways to fix this. One will just go and edit this and put in 3 to 253. Okay, sorted. Oh, not sorted yet. We don't want average here. Of course, we want median. That's better. Okay, so that's one way to uh, sort out our copying problem. The other way if we know that we're ahead of time that we're going to be copying this range a few times is that we could even uh, take this formula here and pop in some dollar signs to fix those numbers so that when we go copying this formula around the place uh, those don't get uh, those don't get changed those numbers don't get changed so if we just go into here it doesn't change the, the result and let's suppose now we didn't have that median there I've just deleted it um, and we took this formula and we copied it. So I've gone Command C again, gone down to the median square and gone Command V to paste it in. Notice now these numbers have not changed. Okay, so we, we saw this as well in part A, how that works. And then all we need to do is to change the average to median. Okay, either would work. The other thing we need is the standard deviation. Like that. A little bit nicer just by expanding the column width. So if I put in actually, we're going to go equals S T D E V, and we get a few options here for standard deviation. The one that we're going to use is this one, S T Dev dot S. This is the formula for the sample standard deviation, uh, which you, which is in the textbook and in the notes and everything else. This is the one that we're going to use for standard deviations. So I'll just press Enter there and then it gives me uh, the option to select the range. So again, I'll just start from there. I'll hold down the shift and the command or control in Windows to go down to the bottom and then press enter. 
and we have our standard deviation worked out there. So that's the mean, median and standard deviation for the entire year, 2016. So what the rest of uh, question 3 is asking you to do in parts B and C is to work out the same things, the mean, the median and the standard deviation, but not for the full range, only down to, in the first instance, from January to June. So you want to work out the mean starting in January and going all the way down to June. All right, so, we, for, so the range that you're interested in is the one that expires at the end of June, which is going to be any minute now, there. So your range for the mean, median and standard deviation for part B is going to end at row 126, the end of June. Okay? And then for part C, your range will start here and then go down to the end. So given what I've shown you to work out those, I'm sure you can work out the two halves.